So we are very fortunate today to observe the merciful appearance day of Lalita Devi. And I'm reading from uh, Godi, Sri Gaudiya Darshan. That is um, a talk from Srila Bhakti Sunda Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj. And herein, Srila Govinda Maharaj, he explains the position of the dear most of Sri Rupa and Sri Radha. Today is Sri Lalita Saptami. It is an extremely worshipful and merciful day for conditioned souls, because only the mercy of Lalita Devi can give them service to Radharani and Krishna, the divine couple. We know Lalita Devi's position through Sri Larupa Goswami Prabhu and the other Goswamis. She is the supreme servitor, and her service is more valuable than Radharani's service to Krishna. She is very strict about the service of Radha and Krishna. She cannot tolerate even slight faults, but she is also very merciful to sincere seekers who are junior practitioners. Radha and Krishna, eight principal sakis, are all under the guidance of Lalita Devi. It's puzzling to us that a servant can tell their master, sit down, don't interfere with my service. Yet Lalita Devi, and only Lalita Devi, has to write to speak this way. Srila Rupa Goswami composed a poem for Lalita Devi. Radha Mukunda Pada Sambhava Gama Bindu Nirman Chano Pakarami Kritaldeha Laksham Utunga Sorida Fishesha Fashat Pakabam Devim Kunai Sulalitam Lalitam Namami Kunai Sulalitam, she has all varieties of sweet qualities, and her service in, is incomparable. She is very merciful to everyone, but she knows how to serve better than anyone. Radha Mukunda Pada Sambhava Karma Bindu Nirmancha No Pakarani Krita Deha Laksham. If she sees any deficiencies or disturbance in the service, being offered to Radha and Govinda, she becomes very furious and desires to take on thousands of bodies to remove Radha and Govinda's unhappiness. Naturally, as Radha, Rani and Krishna play, sweat appears on their lotus feet and they sometimes begin to feel some fatigue. To remove that sweat, Lalita Devi desires to take on thousands and thousands of bodies. Utunga Sorita Fishesha Fashat Pakalbam. Sometimes she chastises Radharani and sometimes she chastises Sri Krishna, but always for their satisfaction, their service, their happiness, their joy. She has no other intention. There are many groups of Sakis, Lalita, Fishaka, Chitra, Champakalata, Tungavidya, Induleka, Sudevi, and Ranga Devi. These are the eight principal Sakis, and each of them have groups of Sakis, and Lalita Devi is the chief of them all. To serve Krishna, Radharani sometimes shows Bama Bhava. That is, she sometimes becomes angry or strongly opposes Krishna. Sometimes others find this very unpalatable to see, but Lalita Devi always wants to harmonize, and if necessary, she chastises Radharani or chastises Sri Krishna. Her position, nature and mood are like that. We know that 100% is the maximum in mathematical calculations, but Lalita Devi is 200% dedicated. Ultimately, service is given by Rupa Goswami Prabhu on the order of Lalita Devi 
to Radha and Krishna in Radha Kund, Shama Kund, the Rasa Stali, and everywhere else. Rupa Goswami Prabhu is a very close servitor of Lalita Devi, but by age is very junior to her. Sri Rupa is very, very dear to Lalita Devi, and she does not know anything other than Lalita Devi. Without Lalita Devi's consent, she doesn't do any service for Radharani. We can understand chastity through Narottam Thakur's song. Sri Rupa Manjari Pada, Sei Mora Sampada, Sei Mora Bhajana Pujana. This is the Gaudiya Vaishnava Sampradaya's chief, most honored song, and it is very dear to the devotees because every devotee wants to serve Lalita Devi under the guidance of Rupa Goswami and have Lalita Devi engage them in service to Radharani. Our Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur always follows the line of Rupa Goswami. The order and satisfaction of Rupa Goswami is our target in going to render exclusive service with the full consent of Lalita Devi to Radha and Krishna. That is our line. Srila Das Goswami was exclusively attached to Lalita Devi and Rupa Goswami. He wrote many verses glorifying them. Once Srila Das Goswami's servant passed through Shaki Stali, which is the village of Chandravali, Radharani's competitor. There he collected some buttermilk in a very big leaf. When he gave it to Das Goswami, who is in his last years, ate only buttermilk. Das Goswami asked him, where did you get this big, big leaf bowl? The servant was a simple-hearted Vaishnava and said, I came through Shakistali and there I saw this leaf and collected some buttermilk for you inside it. Huh? You have given me a leaf bowl from Shakistali? Then Das Goswami threw it on the ground. Through this pastime, we can see how much he is dedicated to the line of Lalita Devi and Rupa Goswami. Shakistali nai heri nayane dekili sai byaki padaye mane. I never cast my glance towards Shaki Stali. If I see it, I'm reminded of Saibya. Yeye Pratikula Chandara Saki, Prane Dukha Pai Tanhara Deki. I feel pain in my heart whenever I see any of Chandravali's unfavorable friends. This is Bal Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur's very exclusive song about Sri Rupa Goswami, Radharani and Lalita Devi's line. Every day new arrangements for Radha and Krishna's enjoyment are made in different places in the forest, amidst flowering trees. Arrangements are made for Radha and Govinda's Kunjalilas. Lalita Devi gives all of the directions for this and also tells Krishna where the festive meetings are being arranged. Then Krishna goes there to meet Radharani. In this way, Lalita Devi arranges everything before, during and after. She is constantly conscious about the service of Radha and Govinda. Today is Lalita Devi's appearance day. We know that Lalita Devi was born in Uchagam, near Frisabhanupur, Vashana. Lalita Devi is a little elder than Radharani. I think she appeared one year and one day before Radharani. The supreme form of service to Krishna is Paramur love. Love, affection, beauty, charm and so on, everything are found in Krishna's service. But Paramur love is the most tasteful to Krishna. For this reason, Radharani shows that she has a husband, Abhimanyu the Kosh. Lalita Devi and others also have husbands. If they did not, 
Paramore love would not exist in Lord Krishna's transcendental abode. We are not qualified to speak about the service Radharani and the Shakis offer to Krishna or how they are offered. But Vaishnavas have said something about that in the scriptures. So many poems have been written in the Vaishnava literature about that. And the poets have given supreme honor to Lalita Devi. Chandi Dasa Vidyapati Rayera Natata Kiti Karnamrita Sri Kita Govinda Svarupa Ramananda Sane Mahaprabhu Ratri Dine Gayasune Parama Ananda. This is from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Maria Lila. Chapter 2, verse 77. Every night Sri Mahaprabhu tasted the ecstasy of Paramur love for Krishna. Swarup Damodar sang songs by Chandidas, Vidyapati, Ramananda Roy and Jayadev Goswami. These compositions are all built by a mountain of dedication in Paramur love. Jayadev Goswami wrote, Megai Meduram Ambaram Vama Bhuva Shama Tamala Drumai Naktam Biru Ayam Tvam Evatat Imam Rade Kriyam Prapaya Itam Nanda Nidishata Chalitayo Prati Adva Kunja Drumam Radha Madhavayo Jayamti Jamuna Kule Raha Kalkulaya. Radha, the sky is filled with clouds. The forest has been cast into darkness by Tamal trees. He is coy at night, so bring him home alone. Thus advised by their friend, Radha and Madhava passed by every bush and tree along the path. Their confidential pastimes along the bank of the Jamuna conquer all. The Raha Keli, confidential pastimes of Radha and Krishna, are the super expressions of Paramur love. But all arrangement for this is done by Lalita Devi, their friend. Within Radharani's society, in Chandravali society, Saibya, a shaki of Chandravali, and her group make arrangements and sometimes steal Krishna while he is on the road. Krishna often goes to Radharani Shkunja, but Chandravali is also very clever and she takes Krishna's hand while he is walking towards Radharani and says, Come to my Kunja. Krishna gives some expression, but not a satisfactory explanation. Then Krishna goes to Chandravali's Kunj and Radharani cries in her Kunj. Like this, different kinds of pastimes of Radha and Krishna happen in Vrindava in the Vrindavan Lila. We are so fortunate that today we have had a little festival and as possible by me, I have tried to glorify Lalita Devi. I think that she is not that she will not be angry with me and by the grace of Srila Guru Maharaj one day we will get the opportunity to serve her divine grace. Jai Om Vishnupat Srila Bhakti Sunda Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupat Srila Bhakti Rakak Srila Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Do I have more time? Yeah. So this is from um, Divine Guidance from Srila Bhakti Sunda Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj. And that is uh, chapter four. Jai Sri Sri Guru Goranga Radha Kiri Dari Ki Jai.
So we're reading from Divine Guidance, chapter 4, and that is from Sila ba His Divine Grace, Sila Bhakti Sunda Kovinda Dev Goswami, Mara's book. And um, it's called, We Must Follow the Service Mood of Lalita Devi. This is a compilation done by Dan Damayanti and now Vishaka Devi. We can enter Vrindavan Dam by the mercy of Radharani, but she is engaged with the service of Sri Krishna, and she has no time to see to us, but by the mercy of her finest, closest, and topmost associate, Lalita Devi, we may gain a chance to enter. Lalita Devi is the leader of the group of Shakis, the friends of Radharani. She is very merciful and can give us admission to Brajadam Vrindavandam. Actually, Radharani does not give entrance. Admission is granted by the Shakis, the girlfriends of Radharani. Especially, we are in the group of Lalita Devi, and in that group, Rupa Manjari is the head of the Manjari section, and Lalita Devi is our mistress. Our prayer is that she will take us and engage us in service. We are very hopeful because Lalita Devi's mood is very open, something like that of Nityananda Prabhu. She is very affectionate with all, and she is the head of all the Shakis. The Asta Shakis, the eight principal copies, are Lalita, Vishaka, Chitra, Champakalata, Tungavidya, Indureka, Sudevi, and Ranga Devi. Lalita Devi is the leader of that group. She has a special group, and through them she arranges for maintaining the service to Radharani. She is the headmistress of our spiritual form. We are now in mundane bodies, so we will not think of that. Still, that is our goal of life. Therefore, we must worship that with our full regard, and we must not make any offense in the Dham. It is very difficult to stay in Vrindavan Dham. We must have an exclusive service mood to Radha Krishna, and that can give us some place here. By the mercy of Lalita Devi, through our Srila Guru Maharaj and Rupa Goswami, it is possible to get that. And if in that way we try to see everything, then no problem will come to us. We are so fortunate that we have reached, by the grace of Srila Guru Maharaj, Vrindavan Dham. Actually, Vrindavan is in the transcendental world, and we cannot reach that transcendental plane with our mundane body. But here we have some special facility by the mercy of Mahaprabhu as well as, Sri, as Srimati Radharani. We are like bees who try to take honey from a tightly sealed honey pot. But they may give us some chance to attach with that transcendental world. The pot is solid and the bees cannot remove the seal and take the honey. This is an example only, but still from it we can understand what our position is like. The bees are on the outside of the bottle and our position is similar, but we are also near the honey. Nice explanation. Good. We can enter Vrindavan Dam by the mercy of Radharani, but she is engaged with the service of Sri Krishna, and she has no time to see to us. But by the mercy of our finest, closest, and topmost associate, Lalita Devi, we may gain a chance to answer. Lalita Devi is the leader of the group of the Shakis, the friends of Radharani. She is very merciful and gives us admission to Brajadam, Vrindavan Dam. But here is one question. Do we want that or not? We hear about Vrindavan Dam, 
but we hear through our mundane senses and with our mundane feelings. Some essence, however, is coming through that, and we express, we like Vrindavan Dham. But like Sri Hanuman Ma Mantra, Vrindavan Dham is also transcendental. If we want to enter there, we need some special mercy of Srimati Radharani through her associates. And we can only get that with our super hankering mood. Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavita Mati Kriyatam Yadi Kuto Pi Lapyate Tatra Loliam Api Muliam Ekalam Janma Koti Sukutai Na Labyate. We can do many auspicious services to the Lord, but that is not the cause of the real hankering necessary for service to Vrindavan. We need to have the association of the associates of Prajadam. Hear the Leela of Krishna and engage in Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam, Padasevanam, etc. With that kind of activity in our devotional path, Inspiration can come to us, and by the causeless mercy of Srimati Radharani, that kind of devotional hankering can enter our heart. Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavita Mati It is very rare in this mundane world, but that is our super goal of life. We need it. We cannot touch that ecstatic lila through mon our mundane body but we may understand it a little through our preceptorial master's line, the Guru Parampara. Ishvara Paramakrishna, Satchitananda Vigraha, Anadya Adya Govinda, Sava Karana Karanam. Sri Bama Samhita 5.1 The Supreme Lord, the embodiment of truth, consciousness and joy, is Govinda, Krishna. He is beginningless, the origin of all that be and the cause of all causes. That is his position. Nama Chintamani Krishnas Chaitanya Rasa Vikraha Purna Sudo Nitya Mukto Pinatvam Nama Namino The holy name and Krishna are non-different. Both are transcendental Therefore, through our mundane knowledge and mundane activity, we cannot touch that ecstasy. In the Upanishad, it is said, Nayam Atma Pravachanaina Labyo Na Medaya Na Bahuna Srutena Yam Evasha Vrinute Tena Labyas Tashyasa Atma Vivrinute Tanum Svam the Supreme Lord is not attained by preaching, by fast intelligence, nor by knowing very expertly the Vedas. He is attained only by one who he himself chooses. To such a person he manifests his own form. The supreme position comes by the mercy of the associates of Srimati Radharani. If we have super hankering, then it will come to us. Who has some special quality of hankering, hankering for Madhurya Ras, he will get it. It is true, only hankering after that Leela can give us a little chance. When from the upper level, Causeless mercy comes and touches a fallen soul. He can understand, something is touching me, and that thing is very exalted and auspicious. An example is that of an ant. He is running past me and I touch it. The ant can understand it is being touched. All is under my control, not his. When I lift my finger, he then thinks, oh, whatever came and touched me, has now gone away. In this situation, he has no position and no possibility to exert his personality. He has no free will to control the situation. 
Krishna is like that. When that transcendental knowledge himself comes down and touches us, at that time we can understand it. Otherwise there is no possibility for us to understand. It is not mechanical. One possibility is there. Yam evasya frinute tena labias. If we take shelter with our full, unalloyed devotion to the lotus feet of Sri Krishna, then Krishna must be merciful to us. And that gives us some hope. It is up to the sweet will of Krishna, but in this way we can gain some position and enter into the transcendental world. Why are we doing other types of activities, such as worshipping, etc.? It is our practice for devoting everything, including ourselves, unto the lotus feet of Krishna. In this way we are trying to practice. But Krishna said in Bhagavad Gita, Sarva dharmam parichajam mam ekam sharanam braja aham tvam sarva pabepyo moksha yishami ma sucha. That is from Bhagavad Gita. Chapter 18, verse 66. Totally rejecting all kinds of religion, take shelter of me exclusively. I will liberate you from all kinds of sins. Do not despair. Yat karoshi yat ashnashi, yat yuyosi tadashi yat, yat tapasyasi kontiya, tat kurusva mat apanam. O Arjuna, son of Kunti, whichever action you perform, whether general or scriptural, whatever you eat, whatever you offer in sacrifice, whatever you give in charity, and whichever austerity you perform or vow you keep, all that you perform should be as an offering unto me. There are many shlokas like this. Another one is Daivi hi esha kunamai mama maya durachaya mam eva ye prapachante mayam etam taramtite. This otherworldly, supernatural, external potency of mine, composed of three modes of nature, most certainly is difficult to cross. However, those who take shelter exclusively in me alone and who completely surrender unto me, they certainly are able to surpass this almost insurmountable illusion. Krishna wants full surrender unto his lotus feet and if we do this, he will take our full, full responsibility and when he takes us, our bodies will become transcendental. When the conditioned soul takes shelter unto the lotus feet of Sri Krishna, Krishna takes him and provides for him whatever he may lack. He gives to him whatever is necessary, making him complete in that transcendental position. The main thing is devotion. A fully surrendered soul has no responsibility for himself. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, whatever I have, everything I'm offering unto the lotus feet of Krishna, I do not know what I have, but whatever it may be, please take that for your service. From this day on, I have no responsibility for myself. You may maintain this body or not. This is your matter, not mine. I shall only try to serve your holy lotus feet. When the conditioned soul takes shelter unto the lotus feet of Krishna, Krishna takes that conditioned soul as his own property. Bhaktivinoda Thakur said in Sharanagati, you must save us, it is your duty, I know, so what fear can I have? I can jump into the polluted waters of the Kaliya lake without fear, 
I can do anything. Here we can see the main thing, faith in Krishna, the faithful world, that is the real transcendental world. In that world, faith is the very ground, the very foundation. When we live there with our full faith, we will attain the highest result of highest benefit in life. One example you may have heard. If a police officer chases some thieves but mistakenly kills someone, all liability for his actions, even his mistakes, goes to the government and not to the police officer. His responsibility is only towards capturing the thieves. That is his duty. This is the main point. After self-surrender, the result of what we do goes to Krishna and does not come to us. But that surrender must be perfect. This is the first quality of the conditioned soul. After that, everything depends on Krishna. And only he knows in which way he will take the charge of the conditioned soul. Through the pastimes of Krishna and his devotees, you can understand what is the will of Krishna and what is not. If you try to gain that knowledge and maintain your devotion within that environment, you will have no fear from anywhere. This advice comes within the category of our primary and secondary education. But the superposition comes by the mercy of the associate of Srimati Radharani. If we have super hankering, then it will come to us. Who has some special quality of hankering, hankering for Madhurya Rasa, he will get it, it is true. Only hankering after that Leela can give us a little chance. Many times Srila Guru Maharaj explained and praised Krishna Lila and every time he would give us some clue. We must follow the service mood of Lalita Devi. In the pastimes of Srila Das Goswami we can see Asa Parai Amrita Sindhu Mayai Katanchit Kalo Mayati Kamita Kila sampatam hi, twam chet kripam mai fidyas yasi naiva kim me, paner prachir ma cha baroru bakarinapi. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami passed his life some 80 years in Vrindavan Dam with this special type of hankering. He showed by his position and through his lila how his mood of hankering can come to the jiva soul and what a super way it can come. Sri Mahaprabhu showed all kinds of bhavas, including Mahabhava, in this mundane world. He tasted it. Krishna himself tasted it. And the auspicious souls can see it, as well as his paraphernalia and his associates. For the auspicious soul, everything shows him in which way he will proceed to his destination. Das Goswami said, I am only waiting for your mercy, O Radharani. If you do not give that, I think my life is spoiled in Vrindavan Dam. Even I do not want the mercy of Krishna. What shall I do with Krishna if your mercy is not present there? You are the supreme servitor of Krishna and only under your guidance do I want that service. Without your connection, I will not get it. I know that and it is 100% sure. Krishna has many forms, but Radha Sange, Yada Bhati, Tada Macha, Madam Mohita. When you are with Krishna, we can see that Krishna is in his full ecstatic form. Therefore, I need your mercy. My whole time I have spent for your mercy. 
My only prayer is please give your mercy on my head. I need to serve your lotus feet. I do not want the association of Krishna without you. Such service to Krishna has no value. Krishna will not be happy without your service and I want to do your service. Krishna says in the Shastra, Mat Bhaktanam Chaye Bhaktas Teme Bhaktatatama Mata My dear Partha, one who claims to be my devotee is not really so, only a person who is the devotee of my devotees is actually my devotee. We can see many shlokas in Srimad Bhagavatam, Srimad Bhagavad Gita and other places expressing this point. So Srila Das Goswami says, Krishna himself is very pleased with the association of his devotees. Therefore I need your mercy. Only this is my hope. One day I must get it. But I have passed my whole life here in Radha Kund and still I do not have it. In this way, Srila Das Goswami is praying. His ambition is only to serve Srimati Radharani, and it is by the special mercy of the associates of Srimati Radharani that we may get that kind of hankering. Srila Narutam Thakur wrote in one song, Nitaye Karuna Habe Prache Radha Krishna Pabe. Nityananda Prabhu can give us admission there. He can give us the passport, but only the associates of Srimati Radharani can give us the visa to enter into that world, that faithful service world. So we pray to our Srila Guru Maharaj. He is the non-different representation of Srimati Radharani. Acharya Mam Fikyaninam Nava manyete karichit, na matya buddhya suyeta savadeva mayo guru. Krishna himself appears in the form of guru. But when we will see the real form of guru, then we will understand that he is the supreme servitor of Sri Krishna. Srila Vishvana Chakravarti Thakur in his Kurvastaka says, Yashya prashada bhagavat prashado, yashya prashadam nagati kutopi, jayam stuvam stashyas yastra trisanjam, vande guru sri charnadavindam, nikunja yuno rati kelisitjai, jayali bir yuktir apekshaniya, tatrati dakshat ati balabasya, vande guru sri charnadavindam. From these slokas, we can see the positions of Sri Gurudev. Srila Prabhupada Saraswati Thakur said that if we realize in a higher way, we can see Gurudev as Srimati Radharani. That means the supreme servitor of Sri Krishna. To gain that vision, we need the mercy of our Srila Guru Maharaj. Without such mercy, we cannot enter the garden of reality, the beautiful, that transcendental world. By the mercy of Sila Guru Maharaj, we are gathered together here and asking for the mercy of the lotus feet of Gurudev. If Sila Guru Maharaj, with this full wave of mercy, will break into our hearts, then we must gain admission within that transcendental world. Many times Srila Guru Maharaj explained and praised Krishna Lila and every time he would give us some clue, we must follow the service mood of Lalita Devi. Lalita Devi's mood is 24 hours a day continuous service and such mood spreads throughout her group. Not only that, but all groups are enlightened by the service of Lalita Devi. So it is necessary to get their, mer their mercy and it is possible only by the grace of our Srila Guru Maharaj and not by any other way. 
This is because he commands the position of the holder of the Rupanuga Sampradaya. He is the super servitor of Lalita Devi, and that servitor is Srimati Rupa Monjari. Srima Mahaprabhu gave charge of his Sampradaya to Srila Rupa Goswami. In this way, we are connected, and we must one day fulfill our divine aspiration for their service. This is our only hope. Jai. Jai Srila Bhakti Suna Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai. Om Vishnu Bhat Srila Bhakti Rakak Srila Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Hari Haraya Nama Krishna Yadavaya Nama Yadavaya Madavaya Keshavaya Nama Gopal Govindaram Sri Madhusudana Kiritari Gopinahat Madhanamohana Sri Chaitanya Vichananda Sri Advaita Chanda Karadara Siva Sai Gura Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Rupa Sanatam Bhattara Kunata Sri Jiva Gopala Bhakta Dasara Kuna Echai Kusai Gori Charana Vanda Jai Tepiknana Sabisha Pura Ejai kusai jambu itarata Sansavara pada le numura panchaka Sandera charana sebi bhakta saneva Jana me jana me moe abilas Ejai kusai jambu itarata Sansavara pada le numura panchaka Sandera charana sebi Anande bola hari pacha vrindava Sikuru Vaishnava paramachari ama Anande bola hari pacha vrindava Sikuru Vaishnava paramachari ama Sikuru Vaishnava paramachari ama Sikuru Vaishnava paramachari ama Hari nam sankitana koe na Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama Bhagavan Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Sai Svati Thakur Ki Jai 
Om Vishnu Pad Sila Kaki Shoras Baba Ji Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Sila Sachi Ramana Bhakti Vinoda Kuri Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Vaishnava Sao Goma Sila Jagannathas Baba Ji Maharaj Ki Jai Sri Rupa Nuka Kuru Vaka Ki Jai Nama Chaya Sila Hari Rastakur Ki Jai Jai Mangalore Vaishnava Vinoda Ki Jai 